Okay, are you ready? Now I am. My name is Cameron Zohari. I'm a student at Pepperdine University. I'm currently at, at the end of my sophomore semester and I just got a, back from abroad like you a couple weeks ago. And for the second semester, I was in London, England, which is the most recent experience that I had because I'm still in that semester, but we got sent home early. I really enjoyed my study abroad experience minus getting sent home early. I got back like a few days after Trump made the announcement that he was going to ban international travel for non-U.S. citizens. And so the United States was getting bad, but it wasn't to the extent it was. So the 14th of March, uh, we, got, we all got an email saying that one of the London program participants <laughs> tested positive for the coronavirus. So everyone was kind of panicking because everyone that was getting tested was getting tested positive. Yeah. So I would say when that first person tested positive, I knew deep down that I had it. No, I was the 46th person in Fairfax County to have the coronavirus. I felt guilty and a lot of us felt guilty because we all spent time with family because we thought we didn't have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. But... It was a time. People started to then freak out, and I was like, why are people freaking out? What's the big deal about it? Like, like yeah. it's just a virus, like you have a cough and then it goes. So I think that the people freaking out were right to freak out. And a lot of the response, like from Donald Trump, was not accurate at the time. Uh, Trump at the time was saying that it was a hoax, that the Chinese made it, and that it's just a Chinese virus, which I think is very <laughs> incorrect personally. The media had the right to freak out but some people took it too far. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, I'm like going in a circle. I'm like, yes, no, yes, no. People need to stay home. Like, I don't know why people are insane. It's so frustrating. Yeah. But I feel like I would be even more frustrated if I didn't have it because I'm like, because yeah. I know why people should stay home. But if I had yeah. no idea what was going on, like what it was like to have it. So the 20th of birthday is my 20th birthday. April 10th is the day that I officially no longer had coronavirus. So it was a pretty cool birthday present. <laughs> yeah. It was the first time I went outside to my front yard for the entire time. It was nice to have. It was just one of those things where was, I was lucky to have a 20th birthday because people die from this and yeah. I have asthma and that puts me at a higher risk because it's technically a lung disease. I would say just Follow the rules right now and appreciate what you have. I know a lot of people are going through severe, deathly boredom right now. And they have the temptations to go outside. It's like Adam and Eve with the apple. <laughs> like, don't eat the apple right now. People <laughs> need to stay inside and to be thankful for what they have. Because right now they're not feeling thankful because they're bored inside doing nothing all day besides schoolwork and video games and watching the same YouTube videos and the same Netflix shows. People need to be inside and thank, be thankful that they're even alive. But just appreciate what you have, even when it feels like you don't have much. Because right now, it's tough, but it's we have a lot better than a lot of other people in the world. Thank you for sharing your experience and talking to me. Thank you for asking me these questions. Miss you.